Hi guys, welcome back for another video. Uh, what you're gonna watch me do right now is uh, kind of an overview of another video that I made when I installed uh, Mac OS X Mojave on my computer. I'm gonna do that live. And I got my uh, camera on a mount right now so you can watch me do this so I have both hands free. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up uh, Oracle uh, virtual box and I'm going to create a new uh, operating system and I'm going to call this one Mojave I spelled that wrong Mojave and we'll set it to Mac OS 10 64 bit now under my machine folder I'm actually going to change that to other uh, I have this basically configured where I want it. It's going to be in my Mac OS folder under C Mac OS. You can put yours wherever you like or just go with the default settings. Okay, next uh, it's going to ask for our memory size. I'm going to give this half of what I have for total system memory, which is 8192. And under the hard disk, I'm going to use the existing virtual hard disk file. And we'll search for that. Add... And uh, it's right here under C Mac OS. I have Mojave right there. And we'll choose that. And we'll click create. Now I'm going to go into my settings. And uh, under system, I'm going to uh, change my processor here. I'm only going to give it four cores. You can give it eight if you like. But I'm only going to give mine four for now. Uh, you can increase it later. Try something else if you like. Uh, you can see uh, enable PAE slash NX is, is on. And uh, under acceleration, both of these two are on. Under display, I'm going to crank this up to 128 all the way. Graphics controller, after a little experimenting, I uh, decided that the VM SVGA one works actually best for this. For me, anyways. Uh, and then I'm going to enable 3D acceleration right there. Uh, audio. Uh, from what I understand, the Intel one is probably the better choice. So I've got that enabled, and I'll enable that. And hopefully one of these times I'll get my sound working, and I can do a video on that. And then uh, under USB, I'm going to uh, switch it to the USB 3.0 controller. And uh, for my user interface, I'm just going to have it show at top because I like that at top. And we'll click OK. And then I'm going to close this up. And now what I'm going to do, do is I'm going to go to my uh, D drive here and I got to get some commands out real quick. There they are. Let me close that up. Let me open up my command prompt as administrator. And here's my command prompt. Now I'm going to do the copy and paste that I talked about uh, before. Now, here we have it, your VM name. I'm going to go to Edit, Replace. And I'm going to replace it with the VM I just created, which is M-O-Have. And then I'm going to tell it to Replace All. Then I'm going to close that up, and then you see everything is set to Mojave. So now I'm going to highlight this and right-click, copy, go to this box, right-click, paste, hit enter, and there we're at the program files Oracle VirtualBox directory. Now, a quicker way to do this, if you like doing it on the keyboard, which is what I'm going to do here, is I'm just going to go to the front of the uh, line that I want to copy, hold down the shift key, push the end key, then hold down the control key, push the C key, and go back up here, and then hold down the control key, push the V key, it's going to paste it in there, then hit enter, and there's that command. So here I am, I'm going to go do that now, uh, shift end, control C, Control V, enter. Again, shift end, control C, click, control V, enter. Shift end, control C, control V, enter. 
Now, in this next line here, you notice in my notepad, it actually goes down two lines. So if I, when I click shift end, it's not gonna get the whole line in, which is right down here. It's gonna get the second portion in. So I just hit end again, and that gets the whole line. And then I can click control C to copy, go up there, control V to paste it. Okay, and then moving right along, shift N, control C, shift, there we go. Okay, all my uh, commands are now in there. And I can go ahead and close that up and then go back to my virtual box. Oops, it went up to my second screen there. There we go. And uh, now I can go ahead and start Mojave. Yeah, let me hit Control F so that we're in a full screen here. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. It always takes a while for that first boot to get done. first time I did this uh, it got to this part right here where it give you that notice right there and it stopped and I thought maybe something was, went wrong I thought ah oh, man it ain't gonna work but you just you just got to give it a little bit of time uh, I'm doing this live so you're gonna see it live you got to give it a little bit of time and it will eventually work there it goes All right, and there's our Apple logo. And we can choose our country now. All right, we're going. So we'll go to you for, and then scroll up. United States. So this is going to be the pretty much basic install now. Uh, continue. Don't transfer anything. I'll set that up later. Skip. And agree. Agree. For my password here, I'm just going to put test, T-E-S-T, T-E-S-T. Now it's going to ask me for the keyboard, so I'm going to go to the keyboard, and Z, and all right, done. And there it is. Install's done. So uh, let me do something here real quick. Uh, under software update, advanced. There. And uh, back. 
back it up here a minute under security and privacy let me unlock that real quick and uncheck these two there we go and we'll lock that back close and let me shut down the virtual machine Mm -hmm. okay done now let's go ahead and start it back up see how long this takes it actually shouldn't take too long to boot Messed that up. Hold on a second. Here might have been because I uh, Try that again. And there you have it. So now you can pretty much run this uh, however you like. Uh, there's a couple things that I need to finish setting up here. You know, uh, get Siri working. I actually don't use Siri. A couple other blah, blah, blah. You, you can read the uh, Reddit Hackintosh forums for uh, more information on setting up and what have you. Or if you're familiar with the Mac, you can go ahead and, you know, do what you do. Uh, like I said uh, before, the only problem I'm having is I don't have sound working. I think a lot of people have that problem. Uh, hopefully, someday somebody will come up with a solution. I doubt I will. You know, I'll, I'll try uh, doing my best what I can with it. But uh, there you have it, folks. There you just seen me uh, set up a uh, Mac OS X Mojave on a Ryzen uh, VirtualBox uh, PC. And uh, that's it for this, guys. And uh, I will see you all later. I got another build coming up. Uh, hopefully within the next couple weeks, I'll put it out there for you all. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. Bye, guys.